Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomoti and today I finally have a new video and it is making these cute little miniature umbrellas out of resin and polymer clay. So first I'm going to make a little template and this is for the ears so I just rolled out a cylinder and I'm using this material called Oyumaru which is basically like a silicone rubber material and it softens when you put it in hot water and then you can kind of bend it and make really fast uh, molds this way. So I placed my little Oyumaru in the water and when it's a little bit softer I put my template in and as it cools down it hardens into a mold and then I'm also using my half circle mold so I'm taking some UV resin and placing in some pigments. So first I'm going to do some blue and I'm going to place that into my mold and then let it cure under the light. And I'm going to pour the blue mixture into our homemade mold and this will be for the little ears of the umbrella. So once the resin has cured we're going to take it out of the molds. So first we're going to place on some resin and place on our little ears and let that cure into the light and we have our little bare head shape. Next we're going to make the umbrella handle so I'm just taking some wire and I'm placing some clay at the end and I'm just going to roll it a little bit to make it into a snake and I'm just going to bend it into a U or J shape and cut off the excess and I made four different handles that way. And I'm placing some UV resin into our little umbrella and placing the handle in there and letting it cure. Next for the bare nose, we're gonna take some white clay and flatten it out and place a little light mint clay circle on it for the little nose itself. And we're gonna glue that onto our umbrella and we're gonna glue on some dot eyes And I'm taking some UV resin, I'm just glazing it to give it a nice shine and let that cure under the lamp. And here is the finished bear umbrella. The next umbrella we're gonna make is the giraffe one. So I'm gonna add some yellow pigment into our resin and pour that into our mold. And I'm going to place the handle into the umbrella first this time, so it's a little bit easier to add on the details. For the ears, we're going to take some yellow clay and pinch it into a diamond shape and cut off one end. For the little head knobs, we're going to take some yellow clay, roll it out into a snake, cut it into a small segment, add some brown clay on top and roll it together. And we'll make two of those as well. For some extra added fun, I'm taking some brown clay and I'm cutting out little pentagon shapes as well. And then for the little snout, we're going to take some tan clay and add two little dots. And we're going to glue that onto our umbrella. And finally, we're going to add some dot eyes as well. And we're also going to add the little pentagons on top just for extra design and place some UV resin glaze on it. And here is the finished product. Next, we're going to do the frog one. So I'm adding some green pigment into the resin and mixing it up and pouring it into our mold. Next, we're going to add the handle into our umbrella. And using our handmade mold, I'm pouring some UV resin into it to make the little eyes for the frog. And we're going to add that to the top, kind of towards the top center. And then we're going to add some blush and pinch a little leaf out of clay and make the marks with our little blade. 
onto the little eye nubs, we're gonna add our two dot eyes along with some blush and a line smile. And I'm just gluing the leaf on like the back of the head behind the eyes and adding a layer of glaze. And here is the finished frog umbrella. Next we're going to make the pink umbrella. I know I should have done like a pink pig, but I thought let's kind of go with a twist. So this is a non-animal themed. It's actually based on a Sanrio character. Thumbs up if you can guess it in the comment section. So we're going to add a little bit of resin to add the handle. And we're going to make the ears. And I just used the same mold, but I made it a little bit taller. So it's a little bit taller uh, ear nub. And we're going to place that into the middle. And I didn't think it was fat enough, so I just kept glazing it until it just got chubbier. And then we're going to add little dots of white clay and a yellow dot in the middle for the flower. And we're going to place that onto our umbrella. And then giving it a layer of glaze as well. And we have our little pink bunny umbrella. So we have all four of our umbrellas completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section which umbrella you like the best. Hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.